Okay, good morning. Welcome to my screencast about creating a virtual uh, Jackson Pollock painting. And then later, once you've created this, you can create a movie. Well, you can play back a movie. And then if you're using this with students anywhere from kindergarten all the way up, um, they can they can get that experience of, of creating that Jackson Pollock. But for the older students, not only can they create it, you can go back and teach them how to use Screencast-O-Matic, which I will work with you should you want to, uh, to create a movie and then voice over their um, painting so that they can explain why and how they did what they did. Uh, so first of all, what we're going to do is I'm going to go directly to artpad.com and then I'll click directly on Artpad. And if you see the default, it chooses a brush. But since we're talking about Jackson Pollock, we're going to actually choose buckets because it's more of a splatter painting. I'm going to choose my color. I'm going to start with purple. And I'm just going to lightly mouse click all over the place. The, the harder the throw, usually the bigger the splotch. But it, this just allows you to get some paint on the canvas in a Jackson Pollock kind of fashion. I'm going to choose a nice green next, and if you look at the paint color on the rim of the bucket, that'll let you know that you actually got your correct selection. Okay, so I'm going to quickly get some paint up on here. You can do little splatters and big splatters. I'm going to choose an orange, and again, I see that I have it on there. And I'm going to go actually for a nice bright yellow. Next. Just throw some of that up on the canvas. And then I can use red to add some color. I'm going to get a couple of splatters on here. I'm not bigger than I wanted, but this is just a pollock, and you're just throwing it on there to express yourself. I'm going to grab some blue. And again, very entertaining, very exciting for students, and a way to really create that Jackson Pollock without all the mess associated with it. Um, because to do this in a classroom with, uh, with real paint and buckets or brushes can, could get really messy. So this gives them the experience of being Jackson Pollock without... Uh, I'm actually going to throw a little white in here too to lighten it up. Excellent. There we go. So there's my painting. And what I can do when I'm done with my painting is I'm going to select a frame. Let's see, I'm going to try that one. No, I'm not so thrilled with that. No, that one. Uh, this one. I think I'll go with this. It really frames in it nicely. Once I have chosen my frame, I can go back and I'm going to replay my painting. And if you look, and it will demonstrate exactly what I did with my bucket of paint and my color choices uh, creating a movie. Like I said, for your younger students, this is where you could stop. But for your older students, what you could do is you could come back and you could, once you have um, created that, you can teach them how to use Screencast-O-Matic. They can um, take a movie of their movie of the painting. And as their, uh, their movie is playing, they can give it a title. They can explain their thought process behind the colors that they chose. And they can demonstrate really their understanding of um, the Jackson Pollock or the abstract impressionist painting by using descriptive words in addition to the paint on canvas. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and I hope that this is something that you could find useful in your classroom and I look forward to hearing from you and working with you on both ArtPad and Screencast-O-Matic. Have a great day.